Oh, my uh, tripod in the car. Guys, it's literally fall. That is besides the point though, because I originally filmed this video maybe six months ago. Yeah. But I know a lot of high school and college students like to make money on the side and I've had a lot of friends ask me questions about Depop. This was kind of everything that I wish I knew when I first started out because trust me, there are things that I wish I knew that would have made me more money or even just made the whole thing easier. So if you're watching this, I'm assuming you already have stuff to sell or you just wanna make a little bit of change on the side and don't know where to start. Either way, whatever you're selling is how you're gonna pick the platform that you wanna sell on. Obviously this video is gonna be focused on Depop because that's where I sell the most however I do use other apps but I have a specific method of where I sell what if you don't know what offer up is it's very similar to other selling platforms it just has the capability to do more local exchanges but I will say the only things that I actually sell on there are either old furniture old toys things that aren't really clothes because it's more of a Facebook marketplace type of thing now with Depop like most of you know it's all about the clothes I've sold books here and there on the platform but it's definitely more for clothes once you choose whatever platform you want to sell on and get set up then you're going to be faced with step one sourcing this might be the easiest step to most people because everybody has clothes they want to get rid of once you start selling a few items you'll kind of get a feel of what sells and what doesn't and with that sometimes you might have to donate a few of your clothes away just to get them out of the house if they're not selling but it isn't the biggest deal because you have other options like the Goodwill bins, thrift stores, friends and family who have extra clothes that they wanna get rid of. And thrift stores are really where I do all of my sourcing because I'm lucky enough to have a really incredible thrift store down the street from me. It's also insane what people will give away instead of selling. Like the other day, I found the most beautiful white Lululemon Swifty. I don't know what you call it, but I wear it all the time. It had no stains. It had the tag on it, the tag, okay? And it was $10, $10. I have to show it to you, hold please. $10, okay? $10, oh my God. And if it didn't fit me, I'd be selling it for like 30 bucks, but that's besides the point. intermission because I did my laundry and that means I can show you what I thrifted this week. Firstly, I found this cute little top with some uh, shoulder bows. I wasn't really sure if this was gonna fit me, but it was only $2, so I figured if it doesn't, I'd just sell it on Depop. But it does in fact fit me and it is very cute. This is actually a top I used to own in a different color and it used to be one of my favorites, but I ruined my old one in the wash. So I'm very happy I found this in red. It has a cute little open back tie. Love it, can't wait to wear it. This is just one of those basic skirts that you wear over your swimsuit at the beach because the one I have is completely see-through and it's a little alarming. This one is probably my favorite thing that I've gotten in the past few weeks, but it's not my usual attire. I am, however, wearing it tomorrow to go line dancing. I think it's gonna be real fun. Oh my God, I don't know how I forgot about this, but this was probably my all-time favorite thing that I've gotten in the past few weeks. Totally lied about the shirt because this is so flattering. It is the cutest thing I've ever bought. Um, Keep in mind, I thrifted this for $6, okay? It's from Princess Polly and it's so cute. It's a romper. I just, oh my God. Okay, now I'm done. Now that brings us to step two, which is listing. The main part of posting a listing is taking the photos and I'll show you how I do that personally, but the things you should be focusing on are lighting and making sure you're showing off every aspect of the item. So making sure the whole thing is in the frame if you can, showing the back, front, side, tags. size, I need you to remember that in this case, 
Size does matter. I apologize for whoever that offends, but it does. When you're thinking about the things that you buy, you're more likely to buy something with a $5 shipping fee than a $10 shipping fee, right? The same goes for the people that you're selling to. So make sure before you post a listing that it is the right size because way too often I see people listing t-shirts and dresses in a large package, which means it's like a $7.99 shipping fee and the package is made for sweatshirts and heavy jeans and things like that that aren't the same weight. Now with that, the most important part of your listing is your description. Now you can include measurements and details like that, but that's not what I mean. If there's any pros to the item, like the fabric or the fit, if there's any damage to the item, like a stain or a tear, include that in the description because it'll most likely still sell but only if the buyer knows what they're buying. Basically just be as detailed but concise as you can be and use those categories that it gives you to kind of cater to whatever audience you're trying to sell to. Believe it or not, one of the easiest steps is negotiating and making a sale. Just because everything's already set up, you don't really have to do much apart from answering questions. And oftentimes buyers will just purchase straight from the listing at the price that you posted, or they'll go the other route and send you an offer. With Depop, I do really love the way they format the offers because you can just decline or accept any offer, or you could even just leave it if you don't want to decline. That'll bring you to your last step, which is sending out the package. You can choose the packages that you deliver with. These are the ones that I personally use and they're not very expensive. Because I do like to make money, but I also don't love the idea of sending out so much plastic, I do try to use eco-friendly packaging, whether that be recyclable, biodegradable, or otherwise. So I personally have two size packages because sometimes sweaters don't really fit into this tiny bag, but these are the smaller packages that I use for crop tops, t-shirts, shorts, dresses, if it fits. And they have two sealable flaps so that you can recycle the package. Let's say I put the item in there and I close it, I seal the first tab. And when they rip this one open, there's still that second tab so that they can use it and recycle it. It's not the best, but it's better than nothing. My larger packages look like this and they are biodegradable. This company does sell all sorts of sizes, but they are a little bit more pricey than that one. So just know that. on the outside of those packages are your shipping labels. And I was so confused when I first started Depop that I canceled three orders because people were buying for me and I didn't know how to ship them out. I know, and I might be the dumbest person on earth for not knowing how to do that, but if you are also confused, let me make it easier for you. If you have a printer, you're basically going to go into the Depop app you're gonna go to whatever you need to package and send out. Once you click on the item, there's gonna be a bunch of information that you didn't see before. And in the second tab, it's gonna say ship your item now. Once you click that, you're gonna go from the QR code to the shipping label. And from there, you're gonna press download label. And all you have to do is swipe up and press print. And it's that easy. Once you print that, you just have to cut it and tape it onto the package and drop it off at the post office. And of course this last part depends on where you live because I know some post offices will pick up your packages to send out, but mine doesn't do that. So I go and I drive and this is what that looked like this week. Guys! Uh, I listed maybe a hundred items this past week and I already went to the post office once, but I got a bunch of new orders over the weekend and you can't ship out on Sundays. So it is now Monday. And we're on our way to the post office again with my little tote bag because I can't carry it again. Now before you go running your own business, let me give you some advice from the mistakes that I made because I don't want you to make them too. Firstly, one of the best things that you can do after making a sale is sending them a quick thank you message and getting their package out as quickly as possible. Right now, Depop does this thing where it uses your reviews to give you a rating out of five stars. And currently, I have five stars, just saying. Being a prompt and nice seller really goes a long way. The other main thing you should remember is it's totally okay to make mistakes. If you send out a package and somehow it gets damaged on the way 
and you want to do a refund or a partial refund, you can find it in the same place that you found the shipping label and it'll let you do it automatically. You don't have to do much. Anyway, that's all the advice I have for you right now, but if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below, or if there's something you wanna let me know in the comments, go ahead and do that, but I will tell you. Okay, my camera died, I don't know. I'm tired. Anyway, like I had said before, I filmed this months and months ago along with like three other videos going to Chicago, vlogging my birthday trip to the Springs, and so much more. So I'm finally getting the motivation to edit and post them, and those will be coming to you soon. But for now, I hope you liked this video and got something out of it, and I wish you all the luck on your Depop journey because you really do get a lot out of it, especially if it's like a side thing for you. Okay, I think I'm done yapping, so I love you and I hope you have a great week bring you to your last step, which is, I don't know, apparently. <laughs>